Hello everyone, I'm Demon Hunter and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create Lumberjack Medieval House. So grab your notes and let's get started. So this is the first layer that we have. Uh, I'm gonna just a little bit wait till you could see what is actually where, but uh, this like how much this gonna be doesn't matter. I just put random number. It doesn't matter how big your house is gonna be. It depends on you. So this is uh, ju just simple square. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just seven, seven, seven. So that will be like a watch tower or a tower. I don't know something like that. So uh, first, gonna we gonna first do the house. So create the pillars for the house, extending to be five blocks high. And so every, uh, whatever you see the wood or the oak log, just extend those blocks to be uh, five. And now we have these four blocks, they're gonna be a pillars for a tower. So they, we're gonna extend them for 13. After that, on the front of the house, we're gonna connect the pillars at the top using the uh, oak loop wood. Doing that exact same here on the, on the back, and at the front we're gonna create a frame for interior, uh, for like doors, and we're gonna at the third block connect here, then the third block connect here, and in the middle we're gonna put oak wood like this now take a yellow terracotta or whatever you have you could use the oak planks and place three blocks of a hive uh, high on each cobblestone so three blocks on each cobblestone don't place it on the stone and underside they are gonna be a tower And there we go. Now, after we finish the yellow for the house, we're gonna do for a tower by combining the stone and underside lift till uh, the end of the pillars. So just combine what, however you like. It just need to be combined, not just straight using one block. And there. Now we have a wall for our tower. Next, we could a little bit decorate this uh, this tower by just placing like few random boots like this. I mean, really random. Just it doesn't matter where. Just to be near wall, not like that. And here, one more. Then we're gonna connect uh, at the, each end. So. We're gonna connect uh, four pillars like this. And after we connect them, we're gonna extend one more. So we're gonna be 14 block. And uh, at each corner, at the ends, we're gonna extend one more to the side. And then we're gonna find the middle spot and lift by five blocks. In the front and in on the back. Now we're gonna let it decorate the bottom layer where the cobblestone is. So first at the, uh, where the door gonna be, we're gonna create two stairs like this. And here we gonna create uh, two stairs like this and in the middle half block or we could also do maybe upside down stairs or four block whatever you wish but I suggest something like this okay after that from the around house we're gonna combine the slabs combine the stairs combine the full blocks and decorate and make like an outline 
around the house and around the tower. Now uh, that we finished the uh, outline, we're gonna create a roof for our goods, for the wood. I mean, it's lumberjack house, so we're gonna create a wood, but basically we wanna uh, create this roof. They're gonna like protect the wood from the rain. And uh, so we're gonna create the two smaller pillars by taking four blocks between, and then clay, place a wood or a uh, log and place a full block of dark oak wood and spruce fence on top, create here, same thing. So one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, and spruce fence also. We could take five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, place here, one, two, three, four, five, and place here and lift it to, uh, to have a little bit like a decoration, not like, just too much just yellow terracotta block also here we have one two three four five six seven so at the middle place also smaller pillar not uh, at the top like those but just underneath uh, at the same level as the wall after we finish that we could take a spruce trapdoor and place at the first block where the wall is gonna be to also decorate the walls and to look more fancy and more medieval. So all uh, go create uh, all around the house where you have the yellow tower cottages on the first block of the walls. Now, as you guys probably guess, it's time for roofing. So start from the one block up, uh, down from the pillar and extend by two and from there now we're gonna use it a simpler style of roof so combine upside down and normal stairs till you don't get to the midpoint from that do the exactly the same thing here so one block be uh, below uh, extend two and do the same thing here And when you reach the midpoint, just close with the upside down stairs, then you're gonna go place the normal stairs, but from the behind and close with the uh, upside down stairs. So uh, when you create that, do the exactly same thing there. And after that, you could, from this roof, we're gonna uh, just simply place slabs till we don't get to the point where the pillar is and after that just close one block down and then you're gonna just connect to the other side so exactly the same thing and then connect with the, another uh, roof frame and from the you'll also do frame here so we will do this time normal, uh, easy type of roof, you will see. And uh, from the for the tower, you're gonna start uh, also same thing here, just you're gonna start from the point where the we have extension with the locks. And this is how the frame looks like. Now, after we have the frame, it's just easy to take uh, spruce stairs and spruce slabs and fill up. So with the spruce stairs, you're gonna fill it up these uh, two roofs. And with the slabs, you're gonna first create a slab like this. And then we're gonna extend one more half slab and connect like this. And there I go, I connect the roof. Now I left a little bit few holes. I'm gonna now explain you guys what I did here. So first of all, um, I connect, as you can see, stairs everywhere. But second, if you go or if I go inside, I create uh, 
first where the two pillars of the tower I connect them to the wall then I took the spruce slabs and one block about the uh, half block about the pillar or the log I uh, left and create the floor so we now have the floor now why do I left the holes so first here we could create the decoration so where oh, I left the holes wherever it are the pillars so we have could have a little bit more decoration here so we're gonna place one half block above and then half block and again half block so do every uh, exactly same thing on each of the hole that I left and then we could take a uh, spruce slabs and on the corners play players place one uh, slab um, on the point uh, to the middle and on the two middle extensions we could put two blocks uh, from the side now from here the hole that I create here uh, so it is at the third normal uh, uh, third normal stair block and then two blocks and you can create a left uh, three blocks of the wood create uh, left into three blocks space then uh, leave one block space and again lift by three after that just you took a dark walk stairs and do the same trick here so again do doing the small roof mm, like this other side now we're gonna connect to the middle and here gonna connect to the others to other stairs and then we're gonna take a spruce stairs and just fill it up you should probably need to destroy the stairs to connect like just like this and do here at the other side just do the exact same thing just you need to destroy it because it won't connect okay we finished the roof we create the frames we fill it up now it's time to uh, fill the triangles so uh, each triangle we're gonna fill uh, differently so pay attention please first we're gonna try uh, not try but start with the simplest one by at the towers so go one block behind the pillars and just simply randomize placing the stone and on the side and after that you should cover the triangles and do the exactly here uh, exactly same thing so just do the uh, randomize and you will have a nice effect like you do the walls for the top after we create uh, we fill here now with the cobblestone we won't go one block behind but we're gonna do at the exactly a uh, same block where the pillar is fill it up just with the cobblestone don't mix it up with the, the different blocks uh, here we're gonna first and go inside and placing two upside down spruce stairs and one normal like this but from here we're gonna take a spruce trapdoor we're gonna place one here and we could do even close close it up like at the top here uh, and we gonna place spruce trapdoors like there also you could just leave it up it's up to you and finally pay attention to these guys this is the hardest one so place the cobblestone like this in the corners and two blocks here then place 
uh, oak wood like here, connect them, then place two oak stairs like this, then go inside and place oak slab like this, and then I'm gonna just place a random block just to have a chance to easier build this, so place two normal stone uh, brick stairs, and then also just create the support block for easier placement so to again okay, normal then you're gonna connect from the outside uh, upside down like that one more upside down uh, then one more like this now from the corners where we have like small holes you can see see now place just normal stone brick stairs like this and there you go you have a nice window creating uh, using a lot of stairs now we can do the entrance uh, first you're gonna take a spruce fence and connect this two these two blocks leave the empty row in the middle you'll see why later then you could take two blocks of empty space, place uh, oak wood, then two fences on, on the woods, and then again oak wood. Then you take a spruce stairs and place two like this, and two in the middle like this. You can connect. Now you could take a hail bale, just place randomize, of course as you wish and then uh, on the first row and then again you're gonna create one more here with the two rows now we won't let like this we're gonna take uh, spruce slabs and place first on the two like this and the two hail bales blocks like this spruce stairs underneath and we're gonna take a slab connect like here after that you could take one more slab like here so now you have a nice like small roof uh, under your entrance and you can just place a spruce trap a uh, spruce fence on one of the pillars and place a lantern now before I'm gonna show you the ideas for outerior and interior I'm gonna show you uh, where you could put uh, really simple windows, just creating two holes and placing spruce trap doors, just you can do it from this side. So, spruce trap doors, just I make mistake here, should be in the middle. So, one more time. And then you just could simply add a dark oak slab like this. Then we could make here one window. So again, destroy two. My bad. So just to get outside, I'm gonna destroy it here. Put it back. And then we could just do something like this by adding fences and creating go again the roof here at the top we can just destroy these two blocks just a second so just these two blocks and creating a fence and you have a window using just a fence nothing else Again, one more here, just to place on the middle block. And after that, again, here in the middle could be it, just enough. Just don't create too much windows, but as you can see, I don't have that much amount. And just finish with the roof. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my outdoor ideas and for interior using the shaders and using the cinematic 
movement. So first I'm gonna uh, uh, create the chimney really simply as you can see with uh, cobblestone stairs and the full cobblestone blocks. And at the back on the tower uh, roof, I create a flag which like represent a uh, region where the lumberjack is from. You can use custom uh, flags as however, uh, whatever you want to create. Now I connect from the tower to the front yard. I create a small uh, wall combined with the leaves, combined with the ferns, with the grass. So as you can see, there are even stone buttons. So just try to be messy with uh, stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, uh, stone brick walls. As you can see on the side now, uh, I have also cobblestones, which I place to represent the rocks. You, I use even a slab. So there are a lot of blocks to rep uh, combine and create in a nice wall. Now. I create a custom made tree. Around the tree, I place, as you can see, guys, the puddle and the coarse dirt, which you can find even in the Minecraft default world, right? A lot of puzzle in the taiga forest. So, custom made tree and custom made ground are underneath the tree. You can use even mushrooms underneath the tree. Then, at the top of the roof of the tower, I place the red flag, and down there, I blue, uh, place the blue flag which could represent again the region where the this like Lamborghini is from you can use also custom made banners after that I combine a uh, uh, pad block and to create the outline around the main pad which I combine using the dead corals uh, which are awesome resource for a uh, pad because they look like rocks I place some stone buttons on them and outline with the uh, fences and slabs. Uh, at the side, as you can see, I place the rock uh, logs and with the uh, rails you can make illusion like they are holding the logs. At the side, when we have a roof uh, with the slabs, I place just uh, random logs. Uh, spruce ro uh, logs and stripped spruce logs. Why? Because there, uh, this is a lumberjack house, and I think that the best idea will be to at the side place the uh, trees that he cut, and also the strip of trees that they uh, are protested, uh, and they're being the, used for uh, different things. Now let's go to interior. As you can see, I placed the floor using the oak uh, planks. Now at the side we have a kitchen, uh, which I just combined with the slabs, smoker, furnace. We have a shells as you can see, and I put their chest and barrels, even a pot like a cups to represent the cups. Now we have a fireplace uh, here. I just simply use few uh, pictures at the side. I put uh, a campfire that I. Uh, turn down to represent uh, like a woods that should be next. In the middle we have a table with a cake on just uh, logs and place uh, place spruce uh, trapdoors around it and you have a table and at the side in the corners we have a uh, simple uh, pots using the trapdoors and a grass block. Now we go uh, at the top of the tower, so I have a little bit entrance for the stairs. Uh, underneath the stairs there are barrels that you can hide even chest there. Uh, now let's go to the top, just play simple uh, stairs. And now we have it here, we have an entrance for uh, second floor, but we won't go there now. We go into the top of the tower, so stair uh, to create the stairs, just you combine the stairs and the plank uh, slabs and at the top uh, we have a bookshelves and engine table with the crafting tables and secure uh, the stairs by using the fence. Now at the end we go on top we have two entrance here using the ladder and from the stairs so when we get to the top 
uh, we have the barrels as you can see on the side which you can store your inventory now we have a uh, create simple roof that is we uh, place chest that is the middle point where if you remember when we left the hole with the fences now simple deck right here with the chest we're using also the carpet uh, now you can create the two beds placing the shelves and the bookshelves on it place a little bit like a pot and place um, some kind of flowers there or saplings here you have a spot even for a chest high chest but i don't place it now here are a few jukebox and armor stands and here are is the second entrance for the first floor and there you go guys you create an awesome lumberjack medieval house you can even use that for your house i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this video helped you in any way uh, if you like this video and if this video helped you in any way to create this awesome building please leave a like uh, and comment down below subscribe if you can't it will mean a lot to us uh, also comment down below if you like the presentation with the shaders and with um, with the cinematic camera movement or you want to prefer me to uh, do a step by step how I do with a building so See you uh, hope you guys again enjoy this video and see you next video. Peace.